Hello everyone, my name is um, MLG Pro Gangster Dankster 69 and uh, uh, I'm, I'm now a gangster, I'm now a cool meme because of the language. <laughs> um, I'm now a cool, cool meme, yo, because that's how the YouTubes is going, that's how mainstream is going. <laughs> That's how the cool. That's how the cool kids are now. To be cool, you gotta not be in school and just do the dank memes. <laughs> so I've noticed recently on Facebook, specifically Facebook, that a lot of Facebook groups have been using this sort of language, their own unique language. What I mean by this is that the, the language is very downgraded and it's like gangster. And not to say that being a gangster is downgraded language. No, not at all. I'm digging myself a hole here, mate. I'm digging myself a hole. So there's a lot of like memes going around on the internet. I don't know if you haven't noticed them, to be honest, but I've, I've only just recently catched up with them. I've only recently just found them out. And apparently, Right? They're quite funny, so uh, let's um, go look on the internet for some uh, some dank, sweaty memes, as it were. Some creamy memes. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's search them up. Okay. Oh, what's this one? When you're... Okay, so we've got when you are. Okay, English pretty good. These guys know what they're talking about. When you're in front of the seat... What? When you're... When you're in the front seat bumping some fire. What? Fire. Okay, the only time I've ever used the word fire was when I had a petrol can in my hand watching my house burn down with my family screaming, please help, please help, and I just watched and laughed. Okay, so bump some fire, mate. Bump some pounding some dank tunes, lad, apparently. Um, from the ox. Okay, from the ox cable. Okay, and everyone in the back seat going wild. Um, very broken language. Just gonna say that now. I don't know if you haven't noticed. Um, I, I don't know what to say with that. Like, why is the English language dying of cancer? Okay, so I'm just gonna say this now. Memes are killing the human language. And, uh, I mean, fair enough. You can do what you want with the bloody language. It's, it's yours to go for. Uh, go for it! When she wanna eat something foreign, but you're on a budget. Okay, I've noticed that they're getting the you're right, but the fuck the, when you when she wanna. That doesn't even form a proper sentence, right? When she wanna, when she wants to. That's how you say it, mate. That's how you. That's how you say it, mate. Okay, so the start of this is getting completely off topic of what I want to talk about. So today we're gonna do something a little different. There's been a lot going down on YouTube as of late, and I just want to have an opinion, I guess, a backbone, as it were, a stance on the situation, to help the little guy, really, to stand up for what's right, okay? There's been so many shots fired, left, right, and centre on YouTube as of late, with Slowfo Antonio versus H3H3, Yami Mash with his situation, and the Fine Brothers trademarking my entire existence. But what if I told you there is something bigger? than a sweaty, dank meme that absolutely destroys all the issues on YouTube, right? I bring this up now because I am bursting at the seams with rage, okay? It pains me to see that nobody is talking about this real issue that affects all of us on a day-to-day -day basis. But what is the issue? What, what, what's the problem, Sen? What's, what's such a big deal? That problem is... Why do we have chins? I have seen these bloody random articles as if they are answering life's greatest questions. As if they are doing the world a favour by answering really weird science questions like this one. What do you mean, Sen? I mean, cats have chins and dogs have chins. Well, no, actually, surprisingly, they don't. I mean, it looks like they have chins, but they don't actually have chins. It's just like a round thing that they have, but there's no chin there, mate. There's no chin. Not even chimpanzees have chins. Humans are the only ones that have chins, and it's been a question that has been circling the entire freaking globe forever, and no one understands. Not even doctors of, of universities in New Zealand know, apparently. So, I mean, it's like it's the biggest question in the world right now. Like, why, why do we have chins? What, what is the point of them? Apart from now and again, people have butt chins that can be used for comedic value. There's no other reason for them. 
They're just there. I mean, at an evolutionary standpoint, it doesn't make any sense. There is no use for the chin. It isn't there to like, you know, a freaking laser beam flies out of it and shoots the enemy and just kills it so we can eat it, already cooked. No, that's not the case. It's just there, it's no reason. So not only are we going to solve this, but the Spoon Army is going to put it to rest once and for all so we can finally lay in our graves and sleep knowing the reason why people have chins. We're going we're gonna to solve this problem so no one will ever have to question it again. So we can finally lay in our coffins in peace knowing what the answer is and knowing why they exist, why we have them. So the first answer to this, this little freaking conundrum, we evolved our chins so that's p protecting the jaw against stresses produced by the contraction of certain tongue muscles. Or maybe the chin evolved to safeguard the jaw against forces generated by chewing food. So mainly, this this article is claiming that it's to do with eating food, even though cats and dogs eat food as well. Although this is of an article, but <laughs> oh, I put okay. So there's this other article that points to sexual selection, sexual consexual, sexual selection as the drive forward in the evolution of the chin, a physical signal of the quality for a mate. For example, women may prefer men with broad chin because it's a sign that a man has good genes. Well, that's fair enough. I don't, although I don't really look in the mirror or look at a person and go, oh, look at that lady with that chin. Oh, look at that butt chin. Oh, yes. <laughs> what the f- What the actual hell? Oh, this lady's got high estrogen. Oh, I can tell with that narrow chin of his. <laughs> You know, when I wake up in the morning, I always look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm, oh, that chin is looking dank today. That chin is on fire. I, I guess there's some truth to the chin being attractive on faces. <laughs> But I, I don't think it's as effective as a peacock and a peahen, like bloody feathers flashing about where the peahen is like, Oh, cripes me, look at that. Oh my god, look at that peacock's feathers, mate. Absolutely get in. Mate, that one's mine, that is. Yeah, I don't think it's that effective, to be honest. I mean, I don't know if there's any truth to that at all. But let's just accept it as truth and move on, like we do with everything on the internet. It's not exactly a parodia bird waggling its bloody face in the sky. <laughs> Imagine a freaking human doing that. <laughs> Got his chin out, just waving it about. <laughs> what? That's completely off topic. That's not even what he was talking about. But anyway, yeah, man. Apparently, it's a lot to do with chewing. So that's pretty much answered the question for you. I mean, there's no clear evidence to support any of these claims, so I have no idea. I mean, if it was for sexual selection, <laughs> so if it is for sexual selection though, then why do we, why do both genders have it? Like why, why does that, how does that work? Mm. That doesn't make any sense. And there is no evidence claiming that the chin is there to prevent us from biting our own bloody tongues. Although I want to do that after this video. So in conclusion, there is no explanation why people have chins. Doesn't make any sense. Elephants have chins, I've just found out, so we're not the only animal. Go slip on a salad. So whoever made this article, I hope a pigeon eats your chips, you bastard. I don't know what the hell this video is. So thank you very much for watching, I guess. <laughs> thank you very much for watching this episode, I guess. If you want to see more like this, then let me know in the comments down below. So thank you very much for watching this episode. If you want to see more like this, then let give me a big sloppy like. I've also made a Twitter as well, so if you want to follow me on that, there's a link there. Um, in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. So, peace out, homebred and a biscuit tin. Biscuit chin. Oh, yeah. Oh,